My name is Andrea Blazinovic. I'm from Virginia. I'm studying international social policy at the London School of Economics. So what drew me to London is the fact that there's so many international students and I just thought it would be interesting to try a new city, um, meet people from all over the world and, and gain new perspectives that way. A lot of people in my program did leave when borders started closing down and I considered it, but I just felt that it wasn't time for me to leave London yet. But I do miss my family and friends. Um, you know, I worry about my parents and, and grandparents. But I don't know, I, I guess it's just trying to maintain a sense of normalcy. For me, that meant staying in London and continuing my studies here. I've kind of been thinking a lot about is, is it smart for me to be in London alone? Or is it better for my mental health to go and stay with family or friends? You know, ultimately, like I decided that I'm okay being on my own, but I know that this time can be really difficult for people who are by themselves and, and rely on seeing family or friends. I am an American citizen, but I'm also a Bosnian citizen. And I was born in Bosnia and then moved to the US. I was a language teacher in DC and the organization reached out to me and said that um, they had a class available over Skype and would I be interested? And initially I thought no, but then I figured, you know, why not? I'm obviously not too busy. Ruka. Ruke. For some people, this may be like their only opportunity in the day to, to communicate with people and, and, and focus on something else. You have to find things to occupy your time with and, you know, now is a great chance to do some self-reflection and see what you're interested in and, you know, hopefully like pursue those other things that in our daily life we tell ourselves we don't have time to do.